hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, sun material this improved sun material so actually i i have already worked on a sun material before in this video i don't know if you remember so this is the same project but today i'm gonna do some improvements to the material so based on the things that i learned really recently especially when i was working on that iridescent oil material so you can see clearly see now the movement on the surface uh, in a more turbulent way rather than just pan in the textures so yeah let's see how to do these improvements today so this is the previous material that i had implemented so as you can see here it doesn't really look uh, like uh, turbulent surface it's it has the look of the sun but mainly because of the texture and also have some flare like effect on the edges but surface like this main surface uh, does not have enough movement so that's the main thing I'm gonna address today so this is the previous material so I'll duplicate it and call it M Sun 2 and apply that so that I have as a reference I have the previous material as well. Now let me open it. So this is basically what's going on in this uh, material. So for now let's forget about all these things and let's focus on getting a turbulent surface so i'll just duplicate this texture sorry uh, yeah this texture sample Control d and uh, i'll connect it to this output so this is what we basically have and now in order to get the turbulent effect i'll connect a fresnel node to the uv so now this is the way it looks so if i connect some value to this exponent in some change in value it usually looks like some turbulences are going on see so if i apply this is what we get and it's also rotating slowly because i already have a panel here with a very slow speed uh to see if there are any difference let me connect pixel normal also um, not much of a difference is there so yeah the important thing here is see, uh, the uh, the important thing is that this does not look like just a panning of a texture for example you can see here it's more like a uh, actual movement on the surface rather than just pan in the texture so uh, to show that effect more clearly let me increase the speed a bit see now it looks like this okay but still you can see somewhat of a rotation effect so to get rid of that let me add these two together so here basically we are rotating the same texture in opposite ways so that we can sort of cancel out the cancel out the rotation and we can see a proper turbulence see it still looks like somewhat rotating but not exactly it's just like a moment now see 
like so. What's this bit here? 0 0.001 minus. Okay, so this is the one minus. To increase the turbulent effect, let me um, add a y speed as well. So we will see the moments in all the directions. Yeah, that's better now. Okay, now so these like features are too big. These like bands, so. To make them smaller, let's increase the tiling of this texture. Simply multiply. Uh, let's promote this to a parameter. My style, it shouldn't be zero. Let's try five. Okay, somewhat good, but maybe let's try fifty. I think this scale would work. Or we can go even further if we want. Yeah, I think this scale would work. Um, as for the speed, now that the scale is uh, like tiling is high, we don't see the speed of the surface much. Uh, maybe let's increase this y speed a little bit. Four. So this one also has to increase la as prime point three. Okay, now it's a bit clear at the moment. So hey, yeah. right now we have this. Mm, now let's reconnect the previous node before and instead of this multiplication let me use this one and apply so now this is what we have we already have the previously implemented this flare like features and everything and in addition to that we have this on surface turbulent effect. So, yeah, what else we can do to improve? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what if we add a power node? get some contrast okay it does increase the contrast but I am not sure that I want it oh, maybe not okay so yeah i think we can stop this episode right here so if you want to still play with these uh, parameters you can just adjust the tiling to match to your taste mix and match the parameters and see what you prefer so all right so I'm going to stop this episode right here. Hope you learned something. And thanks for watching. As always, Project Files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below.
and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye